Hey friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna see how to set up Anki and install the Anking dev for medical students. So if you're new here, I'm Noshad. I'm a second year medical student and I've been using Anki for like an year now. So why I'm making this video is because Anki is a lifesaver in med school and I've already been helping quite a few friends to set up their whole Anki. And I thought, okay, let's make a video so that anyone else who needs it can, you know, just see the video and understand how to set it up themselves. It's pretty simple. You just have to follow these simple steps. So yes, let's get started. So the first thing that we need is the Anki app. So we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to search for Anki and you'll be seeing the result Anki web. Just go to that and then you'll see the option of download here. Go down, select your PC, Windows or Mac um, and download the latest version. Once that's downloaded, you'll see it downloaded and just follow the simple installation processes. And here it is. So once you have downloaded the app, uh, you'll see this right here. And as you can see, there's nothing in the deck right now. It's saying default and there's nothing else here. So now that we are done with downloading and installing the Anki app, next thing we have to do is to make some changes, some little changes to the app to suit it better for us. Uh, most of them we are going to leave them the same, uh, what Anki has because the algorithm is amazing. Uh, but we need to tweak some things here and there. So I've seen a lot of videos, I've been doing Anki cards for quite some while and from all that I have these settings which I use so what I would suggest is first we go here to preferences go to Anki and click preferences here in preferences first of all please turn on the night mode it's just a suggestion but I think it, it looks better so I'm gonna turn on the night mode then I'm gonna go to scheduling I'm gonna turn out turn on the Anki 2.1 scheduler because this has a better algorithm we're gonna leave all these the same Network same and backup same. Now we're gonna close this and we're gonna we will be restarting the app because every time you make a change to the app uh, settings, you should restart it so that you know those changes are in place. So as you can see, we now have the dark mode, right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here in this setting option and we're gonna go to options. Now we're gonna just tweak some little changes here. So according to me, like for me, what works best is what through the videos that I have referred to and through the posts that I've read, um, step interval. What works best for me is 25 and 1440. This means if you do a card right, you'll see it in one day, which is 1440 minutes. And then we have order. So show new cards in order added. I generally do that because that you know makes a good flow of the cards that I'm doing for the first time it makes me understand better that that's just what works for me new cards per day I'm gonna um, change the setting to 9999 it will depend on how many cards I'm adding graduating interval it's said by Anki I'm gonna leave it as it is ease interval starting ease I'll leave it as it is so next we're gonna go to reviews and here we're gonna make this 9999 uh, we're gonna keep this to the maximum because as we keep doing anki the number of cards that we have to review each day that are automatically coming to review will increase and we want to review as much as possible that's the whole point of anki and then ease bonus so ease bonus i'm gonna leave it at 130 Interval modifier, I'm not going to change this because this is Anki algorithm, don't change it, it's best as it is. What we're going to change it is the maximum interval, this is the maximum interval that you will see a card next. As you keep doing the cards correct, the interval increases. But 36500, this is like 100 years, no, that's days, right? Yeah, so that's 100 years, you don't want that. What I prefer for myself is a six month period which is 180 days that goes well with me so I just put 180 days maximum interval between a card that I will have is like if I am really good with it I've been answering it correct all the time then the next time I'll see this card is after six months so that's a pretty reasonable time right then hard interval I'm gonna leave it as it is okay now we're gonna go to lapses this is the same steps we're gonna put it here so 25 and 1440 
new interval we're gonna leave it as it is and leech threshold um, you can change this I like to just put it as 10 it means how many times you have the, if you do a card wrong 10 times then it goes into a leech and there is this thing called leech action tag only so once you mark a card incorrect like 10 times then it goes into having a tag called leech so if you want to review the cards that you have been doing wrong a lot of times you can just you know search that tag and review that okay this is what i make wrong all the time that's that's the use now we're going to go to general um ignore answers longer than i like to keep this as 180 seconds three minutes that's a fair amount show answer timer i don't really like to have that it kind of distracts me uh, description so yeah just leave everything as it is then and click ok so we have our settings in place now now the next step that is step 3 the step 3 is to download the anking deck for this we will be going to our web browser again in our web browser I've put a link in the video description to a reddit link of anking deck so please go to the video description click that link you'll be redirected here and once you're here i suggest you please go through all the things that are written in this post you will get to know an uh, idea about what this anking deck is it was basically started by anking he actually didn't make all the cards he got cards made by zanki and he accumulated them he tagged them and then there were a lot of medical students and people who volunteered to help and put these cards together for our betterment it's like it's it's for free plus right they have done so much work to tag and you know do everything if you go below there you can see everyone who has helped in tagging and you know doing things for the deck so a uh, huge thanks to all of them so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of this post and there is a comment here you can see this comment right um a subreddit you'll see here so here you'll see the links to the anking deck these are the v9 decks right now maybe you might find v10 decks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the deck from here there is uh there are mega links there are google links and there are torrent links i prefer downloading with google so i'll just click this link i'll be redirected to the i'll be redirected to google drive and i'll download this deck now you know the normal it's downloaded now what to do once it's downloaded just click it twice or open it with anki so we're gonna do that right now here is my download and i'm gonna open this so yeah this takes some time because it's like 3 plus gb and it will take time for the first time right to process and set up things okay so once it's done you'll see this here notes found notes added 34,000. that's right there are so many notes right that means the number of cards so you can click close and here's your deck here's your anking deck the anking deck okay now we're just going to minimize this to, to see okay this is the deck once you click this you'll, you can start doing cards but that's not how we're going to start now we need to set this anking deck up for ourselves so now if you go to browser you'll see these are the tags the cards are tagged but this is like all hodgepodge this is all messed up this looks really confusing so there is something called add-ons on anki these are like small add-ons um, like you know you add, add some things to your car like you change the wheels you add a new paint so these make your car look better right in the same way uh, there are some add-ons on anki which make it work better right so we're gonna uh, download some add-ons the add-ons that we're going to use are from Anking, so I've literally done no work in this. It's Anking and his team that has done all this work. I'm just sharing how to put everything together. So let's uh, do this. So for this, we again going to go to the video description. You'll see a link to download the add-ons. So please click that link. That's a link from Anking. Once you go there, you'll you'll go to the Anking AnkiPalace.com, which is the the anking's official site there you'll see google drive link click this link you'll be redirected to this google drive now here what we're going to do is we're going to download this anki 40 plus add-ons we're going to download this and then we're going to download card types so you're going to download both of these and once these are downloaded let's see the next step okay so once this is downloaded what we're going to do is we're going to open the card types we're going to go to version 9 and you see these folders so what we want to do is we're gonna just 
click them and open them and they'll just be installed directly okay this is done so we have these card types with us right now the next step that we want to do is we want to go to the 40 plus add-ons now we're going to find the latest version that is the 2.1.41 add-on zip file and unzip it so next step we have to do is we're going to open this and these are the add-ons now the best way to put them into your anki deck is right here so what we want to do is we'll go to anki we'll go to the anki app we'll go to tools and we'll click add-ons so if you can see we don't have any add-ons at the moment but we want to install them from a file so what we want to do here is we'll click view files of add-ons and as you can see there are no add-ons here the next step is um, we have to keep the first window open where we had our add-ons for 21 we're gonna select all by command a we're gonna copy them command c and we're gonna come here and paste the 59 items so it's that simple now we can close this we can close this and we're gonna reopen this app so let's reopen anki <coughs> so do you see the difference we didn't have this thing here right so let us let's see let's go to add-ons and all the add-ons are here okay so you have all the basic add-ons you don't have to go through the hassle of installing each one of them these are like the most kind of high yield add-ons like there is high yield content these are the most useful add-ons and they are right in one place so it's that simple okay so now it's done now we're gonna go to browser because we added the add-ons and card fields right so if we go to the browser we still have this huge mess which looks like this So the next step is to download the hierarchical tags. So we're gonna search for Anki add-ons. Once you do that, you'll see here the website or you can just click this one, hierarchical tag two. Okay, once you're here, you're gonna go down. So once you come down, you'll see this number here. Uh, you just have to command C, copy this number. Okay, and we'll go back to Anki. Here we'll go again to tools, add-ons, and we'll press get add-on we're gonna paste the number and okay and woohoo here it is so let's just search for it it's right here okay so let's just search for it okay we have it right now okay so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna restart the app once again just for the better and let's go to the browser and you see the difference it looks so much better and so clean and organized right plus if you open this step one deck you're gonna see the cards are tagged from ambers bnb costanzo first aid everything like literally everything let's move on to the next step the next step is to how to start with using these cards right so if you go to Anki here, you see there are all these cards, you see cards everywhere, but you have not studied everything right now, right? You're just starting with med school or suppose you're starting with one topic. If you just click here, you can click study now, any random card will come here, right? So for this, what we're going to do is we will be going back to the browser. We'll be going to the whole collection. We're going to click one card. We're going to click command A. This will select all the cards. We're gonna left click and we're gonna click Command J or we can just left click and click Toggle Suspend. What this does is it will suspend all the cards. So now let's go back. Do you see there are no cards right now in this deck? If you click here and you like go, there's, there are no cards to study with, right? But if you go back and suppose today is your first day, right? You started with studying from BNB you started with basic farm and you did the general topic okay so here you can see it has 80 cards we have selected one card right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click command a select all the cards a left click toggle suspend when you do this toggle suspend again it will unsuspend the cards 
So do you see the difference here? These are unsuspended cards, they are in like black and white. And if you see here, the cards are in yellow. Yellow is suspended cards. And now, guess what? We go back and we see there are new cards and there are all those 80 cards right here. If you click here, you start studying. You'll see all the cards, right? You can start answering them and start studying. So that's as simple as this. Whenever you start a topic, just go. Suppose it's BNB. We just said basic farm and these cards were done. Uh, but my friend for whom I'm doing this, he has not done this topic, so I'm gonna suspend them again. And they are yellow, they are suspended again. No cards are open right now. So that's how you're gonna study moving ahead with Anki. The first thing to remember while studying Anki is it's for doing it every day. The only benefit of Anki comes when you do the cards every day. It's not gonna work if you're gonna do it twice or thrice a week and you know just skip it. The whole algorithm relies on doing it every day and you know reviewing your cards and the spaced repetition. Okay? And to start using, as I just said, whatever top topic you have done, suppose I've done cardiology from let's go to first aid now suppose i've read the first aid i've done cardiology okay and i've done the anatomy of cardiac system so there are 69 cards i'll go i'll select all by command a i'll toggle suspend now all that i will see here is your cards from cardiology anatomy from first aid which are tagged so yeah it's that simple so this is how you start okay so yeah we are done with the basic setup and you are ready with your anking deck to start studying for your med school with anki and trust me this is really really helpful you don't have to get time separately to you know cram some subjects like biochem it just diffuses in your brain kind of thing it's really good it it's creating wonders for me so i hope you enjoyed the video and you were able to understand how to set up anki and install and set up the anking deck and start using it also before leaving you can join me and study along with me for some motivation i study here live on youtube every day like 10 to 12 hours every day so if you would like to join just check my channel i stream every day and you can just press the bell icon to get the next notification when i'm coming live so yes we are done with setting up our anki and i hope you guys were able to understand how to set it up for yourself if you have any questions or anything you want to ask feel free to write it in the comments or ask me a question directly on instagram please make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video and if you don't have any comments leave a nice emoji in the comments below and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you guys